Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, well, a new version of Firefox is now released. Firefox 113 is now available, and it contains a few front-facing features and uh, interesting features uh, in it. So um, if you want to get the latest version, go on to the hamburger menu on the upper right. Go down as Help, and here you'll go into About Firefox. This will update to 113.0, and this is the latest version for Firefox, following the numbers of Chrome and Edge and so on. So um, this is the uh, interesting aspect of um, the uh, new browser we've got. Uh, improve privacy improvements, uh, AVIF image sequence animation support, and uh, more. So one of the things that it actually adds is a new, um, better, improved uh, picture-in-picture picture mode. So the picture-in-picture picture mode basically is when you are looking at a video on a website. And say, for example, you go on YouTube and you start watching videos. What's going to happen is that you can actually have the video which Corsair, will show up picture scan. in picture. When I'm down there, not just any and razor will just do. This. So skip. And now you can uh, go and, of course, have this picture in picture mode happen in the, uh, in the browser. So you can actually go and do something else. And, of course, picture in picture is here. But now it gives you an easier access to uh, go forward, go back, uh, go back full screen, and so on. Uh, depending on what you want to do, it adds capabilities more on some websites than others. So this is something that is now um, improved, if you want, in Firefox. The uh, other thing that is uh, improved at Firefox is that if you use the private windows, uh, private windows are now blocking even more of the trackers than before. So there's better protection, and it blocks third-party cookies and storage of content trackers. So that means you're technically more secure. If you go into websites and you need to generate a password and you use the generation of passwords that the browser gives you, which the Firefox does, uh, now the automatically generated passwords will contain special characters. So it's going to be even more secure because you're going to have those weird uh, passwords generated that are tough to actually guess or understand what it is. There's um, more accessibility features. There's a, an accessibility engine that will now improve the responses, responsiveness, speed, stability when you are using screen readers, uh, some types of input methods, enterprise, single sign-on software, uh, and other applications that use accessibility uh, on the browser itself. Uh, importing bookmarks from Safari or Chrome, there's now um, better uh, management of that. Firefox 113 supports AVI image format files now. The Windows GPU sandbox. So when you actually use a browser, most browsers do this today, uh, they will tend to try to use your graphics processor as much as possible to get things out of what is, um, you know, your CPU usage. And that often makes the browser faster, makes pretty much everything faster. Uh, when that happens now the sandbox that is in the version is enhanced and makes security even more powerful so you know chances of getting malware for example uh, are less uh, important uh, there's scrolling features more of an elastic feel on some uh, scrolling on some of the the uh, the browsers and some of the PCs, depending on what animations you have enabled or not on Windows. And uh, there's also a um, feature that now is available if you're using Microsoft Outlook. 
you will now be able to um, drag and drop files directly from Outlook. So this is a new feature also. Apart from that, security features. There are some security fixes, so it's very important to apply if you don't care about the new features, at least for the security aspect. And this is, of course, what is going to keep you safe. So if you don't care about the new features, do apply this for the security reasons. And uh, like we said this week, Firefox does tend to be a little more secure than others if you're using a browser. So uh, this is kind of interesting to see uh, what is happening with all of this. So Firefox 113, the new browser is here. And of course, like I said, contains a few, um, some interesting new features as well as, uh, of course, security fixes. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.